Check it out guys, this is the Sony Vision 1 concept car. We're so used to Sony being you know, the makers of the PlayStations, the Bravia TVs and so on. But soon enough, they'll also be making cars. Now this is going to be a joint venture between Sony and Honda. They've already created a car company called Sony Honda Mobility. And right now we are in Germany for the Continental Tech Show. So Continental is a far, far bigger brand than what you think it does. So the first thing that comes to mind for Continental is of course tires, but they do just so more, so much bigger things than merely tires. So right now they're showing all the tech that they have been doing for this car. So you've got cameras, radars everywhere, one down the center, on the side you've got more radars over there the wing mirrors it's multiple cameras at the top of course the usual camera at the top plus the radars even at the back there is something that you normally see at the front of the car yet more radars so when this does come into production which it will um, it's gonna have all sorts of autonomous driving features and so on and most of that will be co-developed with Continental through a subdivision called Electrobit. So the interior is going to be super high tech as well, which we will see in a bit. So yeah, inside is just as impressive, very advanced as well. So let's see what this is all about. Now Continental has developed the entire um, user interface of this car. So as you can see on the left, there is a separate screen to replace your standard wing mirrors but this one whenever you indicate it will zoom out to show you more details and you can even calculate the distance the speed of the approaching cars too so you, they can tell you whether you should switch lanes or not and then you've got the center display over here which by the way you can easily change and customize according to this no, over there now usually i mean a lot of cars have this feature as well but whenever you switch between themes it takes you know a couple of seconds to switch between them but with this car it's pretty much instantaneous which is really cool yeah look at that second team there you go and third team now everything just switches almost immediately which is you know a lot better than than most other cars out there so one thing i have to i have to mention this is an early working prototype so as you can see there's a lot of hanging cables there's a lot of buttons everywhere which will not be part of the the main car obviously uh, so the finishing is also quite rough in this car but whenever it goes into final production it'll be a lot nicer um, also the system is a lot is also a couple of years old now so it's really interesting to see that two or three years ago they had the tech to make this system so good so immersive already so you can imagine how much better the latest the the 2023 systems will look like or you know 24 25 when it eventually goes into production so let's see what else you can do on the screen you've got the full screen navigation obviously but you see the second screen over there you can just swipe down and right and it goes directly onto that second screen and that is really cool now you've got your usual music and games as well now this will not have uh, an onboard video gaming processor but it, it, it can stream your games from your physical PS5 that you have at home connected to the internet so it will display um, it will stream the display onto the screen over here which you can control using a PS5 controller this is a PS4 but you know the latest version is going to be a PS5 now obviously uh, which also brings me to the multiple modes of control that you have on the screen you can use this controller I don't know why you would want to, but yeah, I guess it's kind of cool that you can. And then you've got this rotary controller as well, almost like a traditional BMW iDrive or whatever. You can move it up and down, turn it around. And then you've got a trackpad like what you have on a laptop. And of course, the traditional touchscreen as well. So with most cars, they kind of like lock you onto a single interface only a touch touch screen only a rotary dial this car gives you all the options that you can so whichever you feel is more comfortable for you you can use that especially when you're driving and then at the top you've also got a separate camera system which will have facial recognition it will have voice recognition through a mic it can even have lip reading um, system as well which is really damn cool so yeah and then you've got videos 
yeah there you go this being an electric car you may be spending a lot of time in the car watching you know uh, doing playing on your phone watch doing work uh, while charging so you can also watch movies now this being a, a sony developed car there's a lot of sony movies in here and look at this you've got selection whether you can have the movie display on the front screen or the rear left or the rear right screen and even more interesting is that the system eventually will have separate speaker systems for each seating position so they can independently play different music different videos different tv shows and they can all run concurrently and they can all listen to their own bit of entertainment that is absolutely amazing without having to use you know independent wireless uh, headphones earphones and whatnot so this is the rear quarters as you can see it's two individual seats and it's designed just like the front seat as well and if you look closely these are made by Recaro so these are the two individual screens you have at the back as I mentioned each passenger sitting on the left or sitting on the right you can have your own you can play your own movie you can listen to your own screens without having without needing individual headphones that is super cool so there you go, most of the stuff that I mentioned inside were actually developed by Electrobit, a 100% subsidiary under Continental. So what do you think of this Sony electric vehicle guys? I think it looks great and the interior especially is super advanced. I mean this is a pretty old prototype, a couple of years old. It'll be amazing to see what the latest version can actually do as it is even the basic functions of the interior feels really good and it feels way more advanced than most other cars already in production right now. So what do you think of this Continental Tech? What do you think of the Sony Vision S prototype? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching guys.